Time element to this? The syllabus from February of 2014? Um, or June of 2014? You know, we, we, haven't, we haven't placed a time limit on the board as of yet. We will probably, um, you know, uh, we'll get ready to do that very soon. The concern also, obviously, is elections are coming up. You, you know, you, you need to, to get this in order. Um, I mean, we're working with the board right now, but if it gets to the point where, you know, we need to give you a final day um, when, you know, Thank you. 
tell, you know, I'm just talking, giving an, an idea of doing, if you remove the second, this basically, because otherwise there's a whole thing about reconsideration, the side wins, and all that kind of stuff. So what basically this motion is incomplete at this point, that is, it's the way we're coming down. I mean, we're getting to the part that they, this is not sufficient enough to get our funds.
relevant. We need to have a complete packet before we vote. Thank and you. so I don't, you know, point of clarification for me, Mr. Aguilar, if you can tell me how this manages to, to meet that. Because John Seth stated something about best efforts. And I think there's been that. Yes, we have to be in a resolution. Yeah, but, but, but I, I believe that we've done best efforts. And the point of clarification for that is that they were very specific as to the items requested in an email. Guys, call for the question okay. of clarification. <laughs> clarification, no. Yes. You're supposed to clarify what call no, what call for the question is. You're supposed to clarify what it means when it says call for the question. That's that's when it says clarification. It is not further discussion on the motion. Let's move forward then on the vote for the call. Move. Exactly. Mr. Thompson. Okay. Mr. Thompson. Okay. All right. Okay. First of all, Yes, 
six, seven, eight. One extension. Conversation continues. Everybody, maybe I want to apologize for maybe not giving you all the information uh, that we spoke with that done. Uh, the package was presented and prepared and, and an indicator. I'm sure we don't have the copy. Uh, every receipt that was asked of us by the auditor, his name is Maximo or Tuma, I believe, is on there. You guys could review it. Now, just because it's on there doesn't ever mean it was missing or lost. It just means it never got to him. So his position as the auditor is to make sure that our bookkeeping and our accounts are verified. So he gave us a whole list, just like Leah mentioned. Maybe there's 10, 13, 15, even if there's 20. But if you go through the list, it comes down to a total of four. So basic, the basic the fact of the matter is just specifically for this item about outstanding or missing receipts, those four are indicated right here as one, two, three, and four. The resolution will be prepared after the board takes a vote, and it will be indicated that out of our best efforts, we are unable to locate four receipts, their dollar amount is indicated, the activity that uh, for is indicated, and that the board vote would be indicated. So it's really simple, and if we could get through this section of 7B, we move to 7C, we move to 7D, our package would be complete, and then this board will report to the to done, and hopefully, like uh, Mr. Charlie has suggested, when will our funds be unfrozen? My answer is probably by November 12th. It's really quick. But if there's a lot of those delays and games and people are not sure and people are saying, hey, they lost this and they don't know, and we might as well just wait until December or the New Year. It's not up to me, it's up to you guys. Sounds familiar and reminiscent of something I heard out of Washington, D.C. You have to vote on it first to find out, then read it, what's in it. So, um, I'll leave it there. You know, we don't have it in front of us. Uh, you know, and, you know and I'm sure it's, it's all good, you know, but it's technical. We have to be responsible for it. And, you know, I'd like to see it. With, with the, with the yeah, I think you only have a good point or a very strong point. Uh, as Mr. Manzano mentioned, those four items, I don't think it's any more of those four items. I think it's those, what, 12 or whatever long list of items that you have there. That's really what that's the question here. What about those items? I would like to hear a comment from Doug. Let's see young those four so it, items. The, these are the steps that you need to take that, that, to get to the, to the point where your funds are unfrozen. So, I mean, I, I like your optimism, Anthony, and I don't know that the funds will be unfrozen by, by November 12th, because there's a number of things that you have to comply with. Um, you know, again, your, your, the four things that I mentioned that every day council has, for the most part, submitted to us already, which is the budget, which is your, your outfit. And I don't know if I, I picked this thing up from the table. I don't know if this is. What, you know, but, but there, so there are a number of steps, you know, uh, uh, approving a board resolution that says that you've made your best effort to locate the four receipts that are on this motion, um, that, yeah, that, that takes you to the next, to the next item, and, and hopefully you get to the agenda. But there, there's a lot more there that I think, you know, you, 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 you Those items that you have, besides the four items, all those other items that, that we have on this thing, so that's satisfied, we are not going to get our funds unfrozen. Yes, yes, right. yes. So that could be June 31st, exactly. 2014. I, I, I can't make any projections because I don't know how much of this you, you, you actually have that you've nice. seen that's been submitted. You know, I know that, that the auditor has met with Mr. Manzano, and I have not been part of those meetings. And, and I apologize that the is in here, but there was a more pressing issue that she had to cover in another neighborhood. So, um, Do you know 
so much emphasis was being put on the four items. I'm not talking about the rest of them. Right. That's really what's holding right. you back all those other items. Yeah, there's just a number of requirements that you have not met as a board yet for action three So who, okay. who and Dunn is supposed to be in charge of working with our treasurer? Is it you or Maximo or the Z or? The Z oversees everything that goes on with people with your name for council. So before before I before I left for um, for this meeting, Erin I tell you, I did not. She did not provide the packet or told me that there was a packet that has been submitted. She just said, "This is the email that I sent them on October 21st. I I believe we're in the, still in the same place." Right. And so, just reiterating that because I was at that meeting.
I think we need to move forward and, and, and respond to resolution itself. That is the responsibility of the whole budget and finance committee and the people that were there last night. And I think it's somewhat disingenuous that people are bringing it up here now when nobody brought it up then. I want to respond to that because you were there. I was. And we all got our list of things. Anselmo was there. Yoli was there. Mr. Manzano was there. We all had a list of things that we were supposed to do. And Mr. Manzano said, I will do the resolution and put that in good faith. We look, we look for the receipt and we're not. That was on his, on his list of things to do. He can show you his list. He had a list, like all of us did, to do things for the committee for this particular document to be put together. You said that you volunteered to work with Mr. Manzano to put it together, to do a table of contents, to get contents, to get it all done, so you did your job. So, so what are you talking about, that no one else took it upon ourselves, and that's disingenuous? Well, what the hell is that about? You were in that meeting. Danny, Danny, what you're saying here now is that how much time, how much time have we used? The motion of the work committee is to move forward indefinitely. Let's go for that question then. No, no, no. I have a right to see what's going on in the and this is not transparency right now. But to be more on, nobody knows what's going on behind the scenes. And so you see it, you shouldn't vote on it. It's not, it's not clear. What are you, what are you voting on? So, so he hasn't done it yet. Why not? Let him do it first then. Let him see what's going on. The other way he's going to expect it to be in here. That's simple. Take care of it today. 
It could be dealt with, and we could deal with it under uh, best efforts, okay? So if we, if we postpone this, we will not have that best efforts option. Okay. We're going to have to re re regurgitate this again, and it might get messy to the point it might take up three months to resolve this. Thank you. Okay, I happen to agree with uh, John and uh, Mr. Jose, whatever his last name is, Aguilar. Aguilar, and I call for the question. Okay. Okay, so now. Consider that. We have to vote for that. Okay. Exactly. This is 